everybody um oh my gosh the week is really too short with an extra monday being a sunday so it's already friday oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh i really want to get going but yesterday i had to go shopping with my little girl she finished her exam did not know if she passed but um she um we did a big shopping yesterday for picking out a nice dress for her gala don't know if that's the correct word in your country but here it's called a gala so a really nice dress and really nice shoes so oh my gosh i'm so excited to be to see her finally done with all her hair makeup nails all the thing oh girly 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 okay stop <laughs> i just want to tell you uh what i did yesterday um, okay, but today we are going to continuing um, our album. Um, and so what I did was I cut out the complete set of this wound. And that is this one. The CLNESTXXL69. And I cut out in color and a few in white, but in color also all with the CLNESTXXL49. So I cut all pieces out. It took me quite some time, but the end result is really awesome. So what I did, well, we are going to do this in just a second. But I did this, of course, first in black. And then it looks like this. Oh my gosh, I really like it. Really, really, really enjoying it. Um, I made a swing tag for the first flip. And this is going to be magnetic. And this is also going to be magnetic. And then the final is just open and then underneath we have well that's really quick grab a piece underneath we have a big pocket where we can put loads of big tags in and i just i just decorated uh, a nice size pocket with the leftovers which i cut out and i really like how it turns out so we are going to do this together with you on the white album so okay this is what we're going to do so stay tuned okay so grab your album and make pick a design color paper for the white size for the front of this okay that's the base now put this away we don't need that so the first thing we are going to pick is the biggest the four biggest pieces that i cut out and let's start with the biggest one and just putting it somewhere you like well it can't be nice over here just picking a size really does not matter where now try to do just a little so it bends easily there we go putting some glue on I really like using this glue because this glue is really drying really fast so that's easy ok that was step 1 how easy that is that was really easy now grab the second biggest one and put it a little lower I think here is the perfect size wrap it around your page use your bone folder to make your folds even better and tighter Down. Okay, turn it over. 
grab your next piece and put it also around your paper. As tight as possible. really easy and now the last one let's see just a little higher a little yep yeah I like it turn it over and wrap it around it's Yep, here we go. And glue it down. Just as simple as that. Okay, that was that. And then we have the flips we want. That was really simple. One, two, three, four. Okay, now for the pocket, we just grab, um, let's see, do we have a leftover? Oh, yeah, we have. Let's say I want this, let's see, I want this, well, seven or two and a half. Well, let's do a two and a half inches. I cut it two and a half inches. Let's check it for you guys. Yeah, about two and a half or six is enough. And let's make first a flippity flop. And just leaving a little edge, make a mark, and then make another flippity flop, cut the most off, we don't need that big flap, fold it, and there you have your pocket. Okay, now we don't have to glue it down just yet, so I am moving it and just grab the other pile and we can just put the first one on. Oh, I think I will want to use a background. Uh, let's see, the page is salmon, so I think I will... Uh, what will we check? This or... Hmm, I think this one. I'm going to use for the background. Just a little white edge. That's enough. Cutting it. Okay, and glue it on. Here we go, with a little white edge. Okay. Step one, grab a piece and then just glue it down. There we go. Let's 
one and now we have to pick uh, the decoration first um, let's see which one is it um, guys don't say that I don't have it ah, it's this one okay let's glue this on let's put this on the first one oh my gosh I really like the white coming off it's so gentle look at this it's amazing okay and so go on and on putting well it can be a little higher if you want just going to be a little playful just putting a little here and here and then on the bottom and that's enough to eyeball where you want it okay let's see think yep this one is for here I also used a little uh, pieces of design paper to give it a little touch not all simple pastel colors and then I think this one I want right here colors I just pick randomly just what I have left so I hope it will be a nice matching thing this all the way now I don't have to be careful that I put um, any glue on the back of this okay If there is any little music noise on the background, <laughs> that's my little girl. <laughs> I'll say it's not little, six, six, she's 16, but she's having a really nice day off after the exam, so she deserves it. I really hope she gets a good answer that she is. Did a she did a good job with her exam. I really hope we get good news. Why is this not getting to be stuck? I need some extra glue of this one. This dries faster. Okay. Oh, now I have this piece. Well, let's put it the other direction. Again, to use the glue that dries really fast. <laughs> okay, now go on and on if you still like it. And if you don't like it or in any other shape, please use your own imagination. I am just going to follow from big to small I just like it how that turns out well, I think for this one we go up Okay, and then the last one. The 
this one I go here and I just go with this figure okay yay and that's our pocket now the pocket can go in just putting some glue on the flippity flops and at the bottom of course we also need a little on the bottom okay let's put it on down so here you have it here is our nice big pocket really like it now let's see I want that this is going to be magnetic so it will stay put let's use a little few magnets This one, I think, will go here. Just a little piece off. Problemo. Just peel it off. And put it on here. Okay, now another little piece. Yep, and then this goes. Hey, where that goes? Where it goes? Here it goes. The magnet do not want what I will. Another little piece. There it goes. And then the last one, I want to use a swing tag. And for that, I first need my design paper for this one. Here we go. And I am going to cut it in the right position. So I make a mark here and a mark there. And then I'm going to cut it. So this will fit on here perfectly. Then I close this. I grab my swing tab and I make a mark. Oh, don't push it too hard, girl. Don't go it down. Hey, 
Hello. And then we can glue this on. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you, once you all cut out your circles, it's really not a big time thing to do this, but I really had a long time. Yeah, it fits. A long time to cutting all, but it really looks amazing. Okay, now we can put some design on. Let's see, this is straight, so I want this also to be straight. So, same thing here, just making your mark and cutting it down at your marks. And then checking. And it's done. And then yeah, the rest is just just decoration. And the decoration part is also really the fun part ever. But it takes a while. If you want to make it really nice and funky, then put your time in decoration. That really makes a project different and you and lovely to watch and on and on Let's see oh I still need to make it on the right size do, 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 do. Mm -mm -mm -mm. so in a good mood. Why? Why am I am in a good mood? Well, while I'm crafting, I always in a bad, in a good mood. Not in a bad mood. Oh my gosh, no. But we go away for a weekend. So that's really awesome. We just, well, not far, but we go to Germany. Yeah. We love that they have so good food. <laughs> really love that. I love food. Okay, then we have this one. And that's this, the last one. But we'll go away for a weekend, like I said, to Germany with friends. And we are going hero catching again. That's the mostly uh, hobby we are doing in the weekends. And I love it. It's you get your exercise with walking and you get your brain trained with puzzles you have to solve. I really like that hobby. That's a really a hobby we I like to do with my partner. So yeah. Okay, so this oh this goes up. Yeah, okay, so we did the um, outside but now we have these two I believe two yeah these two I need to cover up and I did that with the black ones I put some white on the back I believe yeah but these are white so but I don't want exactly to do this I have some white is that hmm I think I do that I think I will yeah I don't want to put any color on because it's colorful already and um, So I am putting the white on, so we get the same idea with the black version. And we need something to cover up the magnet. Here we 
go. And then on this side, we just need this piece. So yeah, we did a lot of cut out circles, but that's the meaning of this project to show you guys what you can do with these fabulous dies from Creolis. And I know at this point she is in America and I know she did something new what is not coming out just yet so I can't tell you about it but it will be amazing amazing I really love the fact that I sometimes get my ideas for some dyes given to her and then she is going to use it cool that's really awesome okay but enough brabbling so this is it and the last one it closed down with this Oh my gosh, how do you like it? I know I do. Yeah, so let's do some decoration on it. And well, let me see, I really like the decoration on this part. Um, just using the kit with some um, words and signs and... Um, lyrics and pictures i really like it how this turns out so yeah that is what i'm going to do next and um, just stay tuned with me and i'll be back in one sec oh hey and then it looks like this i really like how it turns out even in white or in black i just they have both really their own personality <laughs> i really like it so yeah i just uh put almost the same uh things on only i changed this um uh, animal because this was fitting better so yeah otherwise i just going to make some nice tags on the back on this pocket and then um yeah cool oh holly my hardly can wait to begin with the pocket letters with the pocket uh, things but okay next thing is yes like i said making some nice big tags in it and also we need to decorate this waterfall and the tags are already in we make we want to make some tags in this thing in this uh tag page and we want to make i just want to make a little journal for in here that's what we are going to do also um, in here we need a big nice tag and oh and oh lots and lots of things to do <laughs> so okay stay tuned let me just first make a nice tag for this one so i grab an a4 size and just fold it in half and then see if it fits and otherwise we just can cut something down of course oh this is a nice size perfect now i think i will want a nice edge on top of this so peel this off And then I am going to cut this in the wide angle and I'll be back in a second. Yeah, this is goody, 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 goody. Okay, what I did is I grabbed my template and put it right on the white spot I want it. Just grab an A4 and fold it in half. But before I cut it, I don't want that the good side is coming on the back. So I turn this and I will lay it in the middle and straight using a little tape. Run it to the machine. There I 
you have it, you have to cut just a little piece off. And there you have it. So nice. Ta-da! Yeah, real cool. And now, if you want to check if it fits, then you just can make it at the right position, what you want. Now you see, mine is just a little off, so I'm just going to turn it over and put it in. And then I just going to put just a little off where I want it. And that's it. And do the same thing on this piece. So they are equal. And there you go. This is ready to decorate. Yay, cool. And now for the left over this. I did this on my rabbit album from Victoria Designs. If you like, you can keep these. Wait just a minute, just peel this off real quick. You can keep this. And with your design paper, let me show you first on black and white. You can use this on top of this. You glue it on, then you have a really nice shape. And then put some design paper on. So you can write anything on here, the name or the adventure you have uh, putting on here or which country you have been in. That's just an option. So don't throw this away just yet. But if you want to use it like this, it's also an option. Okay, so for the decoration I wait and um, I'm still going to see what next. Let's see, this is also just design paper. Oh yeah. For here, I want something similar like this. Yeah, I don't know if I want to use the same shape because I use it on here too. So I think I want to use it just a simple one. So okay, the same thing, just Grab a piece of paper, fold it in half, and then see what your measurements. Yeah, of course, this needs a white one, but it's the same. You see, this is just a little too white, so you can cut it in an angle you want. This size is perfect. I just want it a little shorter. Let's say I want this. Okay, say I want this, well, eight, it could be eight, I guess, let's say, let's cut it at eight inches, see, that is perfect, it will be perfect, but if you want it just a little smaller, then just do. Perhaps seven and a half is better. Seven and a half. Oh yeah, this is way better. It's getting easier in and out. Okay, so yeah, let's do the same thing with the white. Really easy. <laughs> just fold the double and cut it at seven and a half inch if you like. To use my same Thing. and seven and a half that's 19 centimeters okay so putting the white one in the white book and I always like to use some edge dies oh, let's use this one not edge dies but a corner jumper to give it a nice touch of this little book okay so yeah just putting some papers in and I'll be back in one second like it yeah this gives really that extra touch okay really easy be back in one sec 
what you also can do is go to your local sheep store i bet in every country in every city there is one a dollar store or an action or so low store well and uh, just try to find a nice uh, piece of um, notebook and that is also what you can use so this one is empty already so I think I want to use this too and the color is just perfect so I'm going to cut this as well as seven and a half same as the other one like this and then just doing the same thing on the corners and here you go here can be nice things in so I am going to pick this make this loose and then I'm going to use this as my notebook I think this one is better to use. So just gently make your notebook open. And it's kind of strange because <laughs> this notebook is already all is already ready, <laughs> but we're just going to trim it down. So it won't be that fat, but I still like the outside, it is just perfect to get in. But you can use just a white or and then decoration of course. Of course, but I have this in my stash and I really 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 want to use it, so that's why. Okay, so now we have this off. All the wings off and there you have it you can make this in any size you like now first I am going to cut this same one because I have two albums instead of one cutting the corners and now I'm going to put some papers in well not as many as this of course but let's see one two three four five then we have ten pages that's really enough two three four five okay so this goes back in my stash for another um, thing so i'm going to cut this same uh, at seven and a half um, let's see I have to be patient. Um, I want to keep this line. So I think I am going to cut first a little above this area. So I don't waste any nice paper. And then I am going to cut it at 7 and a half. Yeah, I think this is better. So I'm further going to cut top I really like my fist cards it really cuts like butter even these 10 layers of papers okay so all we have to do is cut this and again my corner jumpers are just amazing really like to use them because they cut too many layers of papers. Awesome. And you just can flip it over and clean everything what's inside. Well, that does not go really that fast, but you get the picture. Yeah, there we go. You just can clean it. Wow, it's really full. <laughs> Used a lot. Okay. So. That's that, and then we're just putting this all back together, and then we have our slimmed uh, notebook. Yeah, just grabbing some um, 
grabbing some, how do you call that? Twat. <laughs> hey guys, we are going to make together this uh, page finished. And um, yeah, so let's do it. Let's make this and, well, it's really easy, but just wanted to show you guys together what we are going to do with this page. So yeah, let's go in making the white one. So first I did was grabbing a pastel tint color and I'm going to use the lila color and this is what we are going to do first. So let's put this back. Just one sec, just smooch it. So you cut your paper in your own size, just measure yours or just work with the pencil mark. And then I embellish this one with, uh, oh wait, I'm first going to put it in so I can see how far this goes. That's why I did with the first one. So I can see what the middle is. That's easier. So first put your design on. Okay, then the second one. And if you don't want to see that you can just skip this part. But some people of you just want me want to see anything. Everything, not anything, but everything. So that's why I just film and go along and let you guys see what I do. So I glue this down and this glue is really nice quick drying. That's why I am using it more and more. Now comes a few little things that we put on. It comes with the kit, with the paper kit. Now this, uh, these, this um, cards is just a little, well only this, but. Uh, with um, I call it birthday, but just still like it to use. But if you don't want to use this for a birthday picture themed thing, then just use another theme for this page. Oh, and this one was supposed to be go down, but let's just be on here. So, okay, then we have a few corners, flowerly things, really like this, and let's put this on top here and the other part on here on this top okay that's that then I grab some ribbon and I put some tape on and then you just can peel it off supposed to come 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 yep here we go and now you just can oh let me turn this just a minute now i can put this on top this piece 
I really like having the gold touch coming back in this project. I can almost say in every project. <laughs> I just love having some bling touch. Okay. That's that. Then we have the cards that go in here that we cut out with the die so that will be in here so let me make a nice one for that I cut out four of these pink ones and then just put it on size so make four of these and of course <laughs> it really looks so easy and quick to do but you have to understand that I prepared this of course with all my cutting and so, okay, then I would like to put a hole in, in here, oh, I want a bigger hole, there we go, then just grab a piece of seam binding, where is the end? Here is the end. Me too. Here we go. The glue is sticky on my fingers, but it's okay. Let's fold this double and then make it. through the hole and then just grab the tail and pull it through and just go around the corner Let's see what I mean yep here it goes okay now you can cut this a little shorter that's one and then for the other one same thing Then I cut out these little notes. And this I will put in the middle really like the vellum quotes. The only thing is um, it does not work on black. Not with this glue. Uh, then the glue is really showing but on the light colors this just per it's just working perfectly. So okay we have the cards ready. Now I want something on the back. Let's see we don't need it that much but see forgetting to cut off for you guys but let's fold it in half and then just cut it and then you have your two 
two pieces. Um, to make a nice corner. Oh. Guys, it's hot up here. It's time that I <laughs> open my window. Oh, here we go. Okay, so now we can smooch this a little. Oh, on the other side. And then we just slide this in the pockets. Oh, yeah, this one. <laughs> slide it in, stay it. Um, put it on the right position, and that's that. Doing the other side. Okay. This is done, so these will fit in nicely in here. Okay, cool. Now we turn this over and now we grab two design papers that fits on here. Put this just away for a minute. And let's switch these to one we are going to make a little belly band in the middle and it's really easy but just let me see if this is the middle we can eyeball it a little Now the second one is needed that it's supposed to be a little equalize than the other one. So I'm just going to set this against each other and then here is where I want it. And it's just a little small piece and I cut the size for my um, for my ribbon so peel it off and then put it on it's just a simple way to make just a nice touch Okay, so now we can put this in the album, yeah, and then we have still have two cards that fit in the belly band, like this, fits perfect. Okay, and here I used these two little cards, and I just want to keep them white. I could have done um, a pastel color, but I choose white, just because it can, <laughs> and more because I just like it. I just like 
the whites and then we can put a nice thing on top here and yeah you can see me sometime uh, choose different points of glue but when I have something that's really with small things around then I really like to use my art glitter glue because that's really drying perfectly fast and it's small amount of smooching it out so I just really love both of these glues to use okay so and I'm not doing anything else with this card I want to keep it clean so you can write on or put photos on so that's why so now we can put it all in let's grab it let's make some place <laughs> let's really open this up we need my picker to peel off this tape here we go close as I can to the edges and then get it in and then the second one Okie dokie, here we go. This is going very nice. Yep, and then we have the two cards that fitting in nicely. Yeah, so that's that. We have made decorate the two flippity flop bags and I hope you like it. I do. I really do. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Up to the next. Still loads of things to do. Making nice tags in here. Um, oh. Uh, what I changed is. Um, well you will see that I use this notepad to go in. So what I remade. No worry. It fits in here perfectly. So still needs the decoration that and well the other big one too and then we have this and then we have the pocket letters. So yeah still a lot and lots and lots and lots of things to do. Okay thanks for watching. Oh one little thing. I for those who already see 